I'm often asked what are the best supplements for younger and more youthful looking skin. I'm gonna go. What if I told you there's a pill, or several, that don't just mask aging, but may actually slow it down? Imagine feeling more energetic in your 60s, protecting your brain, your heart, your joints, all through supplements that have real science behind them. Today we dive into supplements that actually help aging, backed by studies. But first, a warning. These are not magic bullets. They work best when paired with good sleep, nutrition, exercise, and lifestyle. Still, if you want to give your body a helping hand and know what the evidence says, stay with me. The challenge of aging aging is not just wrinkles and gray hair. Inside your cells, a lot changes, mitochondrial energy declines, DNA damage accumulates, inflammation rises, and cellular repair processes slow. Scientists have identified many hallmarks of aging, telomer shortening, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, senescent cells, and more. To truly influence aging, a supplement must target one or more of these hallmarks in a meaningful way. Over the years, many supplements have claimed anti-aging benefits, but most are speculative or supported only in animals. Our goal is to sift through which ones have human clinical evidence or plausible mechanistic support. Let's explore some of the most promising ones. Nade precursors. MN and NR, one of the most active fields of aging research is Nendias nicotinamide adenine denucleotide, a molecule central to energy metabolism, DNA repair, and cellular signaling. As we age, NADI levels decline. Boosting NAD is thought to rejuvenate cellular function. MMN nicotinamide monucleotide. Supplementing MN has been shown in preclinical and early human studies to raise NAD levels, reduce oxidative stress, improve mitochondrial function, and mitigate features of aging. Some clinical trials e.g. in middle-aged adults show that 300 mg daily over 60 days increases the NADI-TNH ratio, supporting safety and efficacy. The safety and anti-aging effects are reviewed in human and animal studies. But its early large, long-term trials see over years are still missing. NR nicotinamide rebicided. Another NADAID precursor, NR has been tested in humans. A first human clinical trial demonstrated that NR increases NADAID metabolism in a dose-dependent manner with no serious side effects. In older individuals of 55-80 years, a randomized trial used NRPT's NR plupterostilbini to test muscle recovery after induced muscle injury. Also, in peripheral artery disease patients, NR improved walking distance a six-minute walk compared to placebo. However, NR's effects are modest and further trials are needed. Thus, NADI precursors are among the strongest candidates for supplements that might meaningfully influence aging. Polyphenols and antioxidants resveratrol, quercetin, curcumin another class of compounds studied for anti-aging are polyphenols, plant-derived molecules with antioxidant and signaling effects. These include resveratrol, quercetin, curcumin, EGCG, luteolin, and more. Resveratrol. This compound from red grapes has been proposed as an activator of sirtuins and beneficial for aging. However, human evidence is inconclusive. Some newer small trials or reports suggest epigenetic age reversal and modest gains in muscle fat, but these are far from definitive. Quercetin, curcumin, EGCG, etc. Many animal or cell studies support their roles in reducing oxidative damage, inflammation, supporting autophagy, and improving metabolic health. But human trials are fewer, inconsistent, or small in scale. These compounds are relatively safe and may provide mild support, but they are unlikely to dramatically slow aging alone. Vitamin D and telomer protection. Some newer human trials point to vitamin D as more than just a bone vitamin. A randomized trial suggests vitamin D supplementation helps maintain telomeres, the protective caps on chromosomes that shorten as we age. The VITAL trial data indicate vitamin D may slow biological aging measured by telomere length. This suggests that vitamin D might have modest anti-aging effects beyond bone health. Because vitamin D deficiency is common, especially in older adults, supplementation is often a low risk, potentially beneficial measure. Collagen for skin health, while much of aging is internal, skin aging is visible and important for many. Collagen supplements, oral or topical, have been tested in human randomized controlled trials. These studies show improvements in skin moisture, elasticity, and hydration. In photodamaged skin, Anti-aging supplement formula C with marine complexes, vitamins, plant extracts produced positive effects vs placebo over four months. While these effects are cosmetic rather than systemic, they are among the few areas where human evidence is stronger. Creatine and cognitives muscle support, creatine is well known in exercise circles, but it may also help aging. Some studies suggest creatine supplementation in older adults improves muscle strength cognitive functions, especially under stress or sleep deprivation and supports energy metabolism in the brain. The evidence is mixed, but since creatine is relatively safe and well-studied, it is a plausible, helper, supplement. Omega-3 fatty acids, EPA, HA, omega-3s have broad health benefits including on heart, brain, and inflammation. 
A recent large clinical trial found that a daily dose of omega-3 in older adults C1 gram per day for three years slowed biological aging by about three months, as measured by epigenetic clocks. When combined with vitamin D and exercise, the effect was nearly four months. Omega-3s are among the more validated supplements with systemic health benefits that align with aging. Other nutrients. B vitamins, CoQ10, magnesium, etc. Many vitamins and minerals are essential for healthy aging, though their roles in slowing aging are less proven B vitamins E, B6, B9, Drifolate, B12. These help reduce homocysteine levels, support DNA repair and methylation processes. Some studies link higher B vitamin intake to lower dementia risk. Coenzyme q 100 is CoQ100. As an antioxidant and mitochondrial cofactor, CoQ10 levels decline with age. Some suggest it supports energy and cardiovascular health, magnesium minerals, etc. Often people lack sufficiency in minerals. Some observational and mechanistic evidence supports their roles, though robust anti-aging trials are rare. Multivitamins. The evidence is weak. Researchers generally do not find strong proof that multivitamins reduce risk of heart disease, cancer or cognitive decline. Thus, these nutrients may act more as foundational supports rather than potent anti-aging agents. What the evidence falls short on even with promising agents, there are major caveats duration and scale. Many trials are short weeks or months, small dozens of participants or test surrogate biomarkers, not hard outcomes like lifespan or disease delay. Safety and side effects. Long-term safety is often unknown. High doses might have unexpected risks, interactions and context. Supplements may interact with medications or underlying conditions. They often work best when combined with healthy diet, sleep, exercise, stress management. Placebo and expectation biases. Aging science is complex, and not everything that looks like benefit will pan out. Heterogeneity of people. What works for one person is based on genetics, environment, lifestyle may not work for another. So any approach must be cautious, evidence-informed, and personalized. Putting it into a narrative. The journey of a person let me weave these together in a story of a person named Amina, age 58. Who wants to age well? Amina always believed in eating well, walking daily and staying curious. But recently she noticed her energy dipping, her skin becoming drier, and she feared cognitive decline. She read online about anti-aging supplements, but she was confused by hype, conflicting claims, and exaggerated promises. One day she decided to explore the science, not marketing claims. She visited health journals, read reviews, talked to clinicians, and slowly built a modest plan grounded in evidence. She started with vitamin D because she lived in a cloudy place and her blood tests showed low levels. Over months, she felt her bones and mood stabilize. She learned about NAD precursors, and after careful consideration and consulting with her doctor, she tried NMN at a moderate dose. After a few months, she didn't feel like she reversed age, but she felt a subtle more energy, less fatigue. She added omega-3 supplements because of evidence showing it may slow biological aging. She focused on getting B vitamins, magnesium, and CoQ10 via diet and supplements to fill gaps. To support her skin, she used collagen supplements. She also ate antioxidant, rich foods, aid berries, green tea, turmeric rather than relying purely on supplement pills. She didn't expect magic. But over a year or two, she monitored markers, her inflammatory markers dropped a bit, her walking endurance improved, her skin felt more elastic, and her memory tests stayed stable. She kept her lifestyle solid, sleep, strength exercise, stress reduction, social engagement. Amina now tells her friends, there's no fountain of youth pill, but a few supplements, used wisely and cautiously, might tip the scales a little in your favor. The gains are small, but over years, small shifts matter. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with someone who cares about aging well. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss future videos where we dive deeper into individual supplements, dosages, and practical guides. Leave a comment below, which supplement surprised you most? Are you already trying one of these? And as always, age smart, not in fear. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.